Alright, hello everyone. In this video I'm going to be showing you some great keybinds for beginners and those that want to transition from controller to keyboard and mouse or those that feel like their keybinds are not that great. Before we begin, can you drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it and comment on anything I missed and I'll get back to you. If you want to know about double edit binds or double movement binds, I can make a video on that. But for this, we're going to cover some more basic stuff. Okay, we're going to start with movement, and that's going to be W, A, S, and D. Jump as spacebar. Auto run can be anything. Crouch, it's going to be our left shift or left control, depending on which one you're used to pressing. Uh, fire should be same as any other game. It's a left mouse button. And mouse wheel up can also help you out if you want to charge, to use a charge shotgun automatically, like without waiting for it to charge up and then shoot. So it's it's basically the same as double tapping shoot. Right, it gets rid of the charge function. So you just scroll wheel up and it shoots automatically. I don't have one here, but you get you get it Let's see here reload R or T or whatever R is a good bind for edit or anything use this is a leftover key bind you should do after you're done with everything else your harvesting tool you don't need to worry about this in the miscellaneous miscellaneous spot that's what this is there is a toggle harvesting tool, which makes it so you don't have to repress. Nah, it's just it's really just uh, preference rather. Let's go back down. Uh, quick bar. A lot of people have this on as like Q or something. Turn that off. You don't need it. We're not controller players. We get to cycle through, right? Uh, slot up and down don't have this bound to anything. You should not be switching weapons with slot up and down. So your cursor mode, what this does, it allows you instead of pressing your inventory and then either pressing W. Did you know that? If you're in your inventory, you just press W and it takes you out. Or even in any movement buttons. Yeah, anyways, what cursor mode does is it... Oh, I don't have it. Yeah, there. That alt. You just press the button. You actually have to hold it, rather, and then it'll go away. That's what cursor mode does, if you guys were wondering. Let's see. Am I in the build? Okay. Crouch while edit while building should be whatever your crouch is, either left shift or left control. Wall and ramp should be your thumb mouse buttons. These are the best binds, because your thumb your right thumb is not really doing anything. Most mice have two mouse buttons. Uh, roof can be either Z, Q, left control, left shift, tab, anything you can press with your pinky. As I would press Z with my ring finger. I have my computer keyboard rotated so the left side is higher than the right side and that allows me to press it easily. Next, trap can be anything. Uh, place building, left mouse button. Change building material. I do G, because that's harder to press. Or not that hard to press, but uh, yeah. Okay, we're getting to the fun part. Your edit. Your edit can either be F or E, which are the easiest buttons to press on your keyboard. And you're using your index finger. So, you notice here I also have mouse wheel down as edit. And reset building is mouse wheel down. So what that does is I don't have to press my edit button, F, in order to reset this wall. I just scroll down and it automatically does it. Yep, just like that. So a lot of people actually only had scroll wheel down as reset and not as building edit also. So otherwise you'd have to press your edit, scroll wheel, and then edit again. So, it's very helpful. 
Ping could be anything. Push talk, anything. I have it as T, which is the uh, default. Let's see here. Yeah, harvesting tool. Q. Trap equip. Or picker. Doesn't really matter. Let's see here. Toggle map, I have it as B. Inventory C. I press these with my thumb. Down but out. Down but not out. Carry. If you have edit as F, odds are you're gonna need to switch this, these two binds, so you don't accidentally pick up a teammate or an enemy when you're trying to edit a wall or a ramp. So here, this can be anything. And then, yeah, that's, that's really it. If you have any more questions, I can answer them in the comments. And. Feel free to drop me a follow on Twitch. I'll link that as well. A subscribe on YouTube. And a like as well. Alright. See you later.